how to load the data into SDFS. Now uh, we are uh, Hadoop is ready and so we can able to work in a Hadoop environment. Okay, so when you want to start some job, you want to write some coding part or you want to monitor some either it can be development site or you're working something with high or big are you going to write a Java program? Are you going to write a MapReduce program? Are you applying some visualizations? Are you going for some analytics, right? So before going to do all these things, we should uh, able to get the data into SDFS. Once the, the data available in SDFS, then we can able to process the data. Correct. So you have a cluster is available and we have some data nodes are there. Okay, and I have uh, to get the data to Hadoop cluster to process it. Now we are going to see what are the different ways to load the data into SDFS that is in a Hadoop cluster. Right, so we have the different ways. One, we can use Hadoop file system API. Okay, so we can use Hadoop file system API or uh, we can say it's a Hadoop shell. Right, so with this one we can able to load the data into SDFS and also and we can able to work with the Hadoop environment. And second one is uh, if your data is available in RDBMS, right, so production database, uh, we have the data in a production database. Now I have to get the data from the production database to the Hadoop cluster. So in that case, we are using a Hadoop component that is a skew. With the command skew import, we are loading the data into the SDFS. And third one, suppose if your data is available in the server network attached storages, then we are using the components like a flume or something called a new com one component spring XD to stream the data into the SDFS. So this is one way we are collecting the data from the servers or we can say the network attached to storages right with these components we are get collect collecting the data and loading the data into the SDFS. And so we have Java API is available. Okay, Java API. So with this set of Java programs, we can able to create a file in SDFS and we can able to write the data onto the file as well. We can able to delete the file. We can able to change the name of the file. So for all the uh, whatever you want to do with the data, which is available in SDFS, we are having a Java API. With the help of Java API, uh, we are going to load the data into the SDFS. And uh, the fifth one, suppose if you have uh, data is available in a disk or uh, some server, we can able to use FTP to load the data or to move the data to the Hadoop cluster. That is to move the data to the SDFS. And we have uh, REST API is there, right? So we can say something HTTP REST or you can use uh, we have Web SDFS. Okay, so with the help of Web SDFS, we can able to move the data to the Hadoop cluster. So these are the different ways we are collecting the input data to the Hadoop cluster. Once the data is available in SDFS, then we are going to process the data with Hadoop processing tools, right? So in this one, the first one is Hadoop file system API. So where uh, it is a Hadoop shell or we can call it as a Hadoop working environment. So if you take any terminal, right? So I'm going to the Hadoop environment. Okay, so I'll took a terminal. See here, this is the terminal. Click on terminal, right? So if you type the command Hadoop space FS, press enter. Okay, so these are the set of commands which are available under Hadoop file system API, right? 
we can use this Hadoop FS API. So we can use the commands which are defined in Hadoop FS API to load the data into SDFS. Uh, so in this API, we have some commands are available. Suppose my data is available in a local file system. Okay, and I want to copy the file from the local file system to SDFS file system. In that case, I uh, have a command is available that is Hadoop space FS hyphen put is a command which copies the data, which copies the file from the local file system to SDFS file system. And we have another command Hadoop. fs hyphen copy from f is capital local is a one command which copies a file from the local file system to sdfs file system right with these two commands we can able to copy the data or we can able to copy files from local file system to sdfs file system and uh, suppose if you want to move the data Right means cut paste. Then we have a command is available that is Hadoop space fs hyphen move to local is a command which moves the data from the local file system to SDFS file system. And the same way we can do the reverse means here my data is available in SDFS. Right now I want to move the data from the SDFS to local file system. Then uh, it's something moving copying files from SDFS to local file system. So now you can use the command the reverse here Hadoop space FSFN put right which puts the data into SDFS. So the reverse for this one is Hadoop space FS hyphen get which will do uh, which will copy a file from the SDFS file system to local file system and the same thing you can use Hadoop space FS hyphen copy to local Okay, which copies a file from the SDFS to local file system and uh, other command that is Hadoop space FS hyphen move to local it's something like cut paste so you are moving the data from SDFS to local file system so these are the commands which copies the files right from the local file system to SDFS file system and SDFS to local file system right so I'm going to the shell right I took the terminal so I'm going to create a directory that is Hadoop space FS hyphen MKDR is to create a directory I think we have already created this directory with the name Tahir let me check this if it is not created it creates if it is already there it will throw the error right so there is no directory now we have created directory in SDFS that is Tahir so where this directory is created now this directory is created under SDFS so I told right how to access this SDFS now you can see Hadoop space FS hyphen LS okay to list the files from where I want to list the files from the directory Tahir I want to list the files and I told you to remember this whenever a user creates a directory or whenever a user wants to create a file or copy a file by default it uses a location user cloud era. So whenever a user files are the directories are our user is trying to create a directory or a user is trying to copy a file to SDFS. So by default it uses a location that is user cloud era is a default location where all the user created files and Directories are available So now what I did here have created directory Tahir. So where it is available. It is available under user slash Cloudera Slash Tahir Okay, now it's an empty directory 
right so what i have to do now so we have uh, fs api is there in the fs api we have these commands are available which copies files from the local file system to sdfs so uh, let me try with the file ls we list the files now you take one file uh, i am taking here something exp test so you can run the command hadoop space fs iphone what i want to do i want to copy a file from the local file system to uh, sdfs file system that is a directory in sdfs with the name tahir uh, I want to copy the file to the Tahir directory in SDFS. So I wrote Hadoop space FS hyphen copy from local. Okay, the command is Hadoop space FS hyphen copy from local and then specify the file name which file you want to copy. So here I'm having a file FS CK dot TXT. Okay, I want to copy this file to the directory. Tahir. So now where the Tahir, Tahir directory is available by default it is available in user cloud era Then write the directory name now. So you are going to copy a file from the uh, Local file system from this documents directory to the SDFS directory Tahir for this I have used a command copy from local and uh, Observe here in this command F is a case uh, is case sensitive F is a capital letter and L is capital letter. Right? You should write F and L caps letters. Now press the enter button. Okay. Now the file. Okay, what's what's um, this FSCK? Right? Is that the local file name or the directory? It's a file name. It's a text file. Text file. Yes. But where is the location of this file? How does it not where where in the local to find this right now? See, I'm I'm working on PWD, right? So here in home cloud era, we have this file. So no need to specify the path. If you are somewhere, then you have to specify the complete path where this file is available. So home cloud era, is that on the local or is that on the HDFS? Yes, it's from the local. Now I'm copying a file from the local file system. Okay. Okay. So copy it from the home directory, from the local system to the Cloudera directory. Yes, correct. In the Cloudera, a directory we have created that is Tahir. Now this is available in SDFS, and this fsck.txt is a file which is available in a local file system, right? So with the command copy from local, I am copying this file to the SDFS directory Tahir. Okay. Yes, that's fine. Okay. okay. Right. So the, the same thing we previously worked about uh, put command, right? Suppose clear now LS, it's a local file system. Now you can pick one file. So here I'm taking a file Hadoop space FS hyphen put, right? Is a command which copies a file, right? Here I'm taking a file test.csv is a file uh, which is available in this directory at present working directory that is home cloud era. And I want to copy this file to the Tahir directory. So I'm writing user slash Cloudera slash write the Tahir. Now test.csv is a file now copied from the local file system to SDFS file system. Right? How to check that whether the file is copied or not? You have to run ls command. So run Hadoop space fs hyphen ls is a command. Uh, which will list the files from the SDFS directory. So take user slash cloud era and then write Tahir. Press enter. So we have the two files. One is fsck.txt and other one is test.csv. Okay, so which command we have used? fs ls. Now with the command copy from local, we have copied one file. And with the command put, we have copied another file, right? Now, where we have the data uh, local file system, the data is available, and I have copied this file to the SDFS. Now, the reverse is suppose I have a file uh, in SDFS and I want to copy it to the uh, local file system, right? Local file system sense, I want to copy this file to the documents. See, I'm going to cd documents, right? ls. Now I want to copy the file. Which file uh, I want to copy? This fsck.txt 
to the local file system from the SDFS. So which command you have to write? Hadoop space FS hyphen. I want to copy the file from the SDFS. That is you have to use the command copy to local. Okay, so it will copy a file from the SDFS to local. So I have a directory in SDFS that is user. So cloud era. Then Tahir is a directory. In this directory, I have a file that is fsck.txt. Okay, now where I want to copy this file, I want to copy, copy this file to the my documents. So the complete path is, if you write pwd, so the complete path is home cloud era documents. So then write the path in of the local file system or where you want to copy the file. I want to copy this file to home, cloud era and a directory documents. Then press enter. Okay, now the file uh, fsck.txt is copied to the my documents. Now you can see here if you write ls, so we'll get fsck.txt. Okay, so the, these are the commands. So now if you want to move the file, it's a copy is like copy paste, uh, move to local is like cut paste, right? So here move to local, right? So you are moving a file from the SDFS to local file system, right? So these are the commands in uh, Hadoop FS API, which we use to load the data into SDFS. Okay, so now we'll see other Hadoop file system shell commands. Okay, so what are the other commands available? Right, so previously we have seen one command. Okay, so if you, you can write Hadoop space fs iPhone ls is a command which is list the files. If you want to list the files in kilobyte format, then write iPhone h. Okay, then it will list every the size of the file in kilobyte format. Now, uh, what I did previously, I have created directory with the name Tahir. Now, I want to check the I want to check how many files are there in a directory. So we have a command Hadoop space FS iPhone count is a command which we use to count the number of files or directories in a directory. Suppose I, I want to check how many directories are there or how many files are there in the directory and what are the sizes of those files. Then you can run the command Hadoop space FS iPhone count then write the directory user cloud era and Tahir. Now when you run this command, it will show you. Right, so there is one directory uh, that is the direct name is Tahir and there are the two files are there. And so this is the amount of space which utilized in SDFS. Okay, so the command is count command. Now. I want to see this Tahi directory belongs to which group, which username. Then you can run the command Hadoop space FS iPhone start. Right, which will give you the statistics or information about the file or the directory. You can check that who which this directory or this file belongs to which user and this file belongs to which group and what is the block size and what is the replication factor of that particular file. We can able to check those things with the command Hadoop space FS iPhone start. Suppose if you write uh, now start then write user slash cloud era then write the Tahir. It will display the date and time when uh, we have created this. 
okay so this is created is this also for files or is it just for directories yes if you want to check for a file right then write the file name then we have fsck.txt right now it will check when this fsck.txt is created okay now you want to check so this fsck.txt belongs to which user then write the parameter percentage u press enter okay now this file belongs to the user cloud adam now this user belongs to which group then write the parameter percentage g okay if you write only percentage g it will display the group name okay so it belongs to the group cloud era you want to list both the username and group name then write percentage u then percentage g press enter okay so the username is a cloud era and uh, group name is a cloud era. that is this particular file belongs to the user cloud era and this user cloud era belongs to the group cloud era and what is the block size or what is the size of this file in SDFS? Then you have to write percentage B. Press enter. Okay, so it's occupied that number of bytes in SDFS. And what is the replication factor for this file? This file, uh, how many times it is replicated in SDFS? To check that, you have to run the command percentage R. Okay, it will show you the replication factor. Now, this fsck.txt is a file replicated once. Means this file is only available once in the cluster. It's not replicated. It's only available is one. Okay, the replication factor for the file fsck.txt is one. Right, so these are the parameters which are available with the FSFN count so that we can able to see the information about a file or a directory when you created it and this file belongs to which user this file belongs to which group and how much space uh, this utilized in SDFS right so we can able to check those information with the command count suppose uh, if you want to check like so total for SDFS how much space you have specified for the SDFS uh, you can run the command Hadoop space FS hyphen DF okay disk fragmentation that is the total partition which you allocated for SDFS in this particular disk right like suppose if you open a computer right so we can able to see the each disk and how much space it is utilized how much you assign and how much you have utilized now the same thing for SDFS in this disk how much you configured for the SDFS and then how much you have used and how much it is available and it is in the how much percentage you have used and uh, the file system name right so the command is Hadoop space FS hyphen DF df specifies disk fragmentations so how much how many partitions are how much you have allocated in this disk for the sdfs is going to be displayed with the command df suppose you want to check the disk usage du du is a disk usage now i want to check how much uh, disk storage used by the directory tahir in sdfs then write Hadoop space FSFNDU, then write user cloud era, then write Tahir, press enter. Okay, so now fsck.txt utilized, so 1564 bytes, and the test.csv is totally used, or contains 12 bytes. Right, so if you write du s, it will display the total disk usage summary means it will uh, tell you how much the total uh, space occupied by the uh, directory Tahir in SDFS. The command is Hadoop space FS hyphen DUS press enter. That is 1564 plus 12, right? 1576 will get. 
okay so the command du indicates disk usage so how much uh, disk usage used by the directory tahir and dus indicates disk usage summary okay suppose i want to create an empty file i want to create a zero size file then i use the command hadoop space fs iphone touch z okay it's a touch z is a command which creates an empty file which creates a zero size file in a specific uh, specified directory in sdfs so in a directory user cloud era okay in a directory user cloud era so i have another directory tahir now in this directory i want to create a file uh, i want to create an empty file that is the file with a zero size then uh, the file i am giving zero size file i want to create a file with the name zero size press enter okay now this touch z command will create a file with the name zero size in sdfs directory tahir so now this zero size file is an empty file means this file doesn't contain any data at the size of the file is zero you can check that one with the command hadoop space fs iphan lsr tahir okay now see here uh, the file uh, we have created zero size and it's an empty file uh, the size of the file is zero so which command we have used the command is touch z okay t o u c h z so, right it's a alternate to linux command touch in the linux we have a command touch what it will do it will uh, create an empty file right the same thing if you want to create an empty file in sdfs then you have to use the command hadoop space fs hyphen touch z and then specify the file name so if you give the test where it will create it by default the test is an empty file which is created under user cloud era okay and uh, we have hadoop space fs hyphen ls then if you write tahir it will list the files in the directory tahir okay now in this particular file i want to see the content of the file right so what is the content of fsck.txt what is the content of test.csv if you want to see the command so we have linux command cat right cat will display the content of a file now the same thing if your file is available in sdfs then we use the command hadoop space fs iphone cat we use the command hadoop space fs fn cat and then give the space then write tahid and fs ck dot txt okay so this is the the content of the file uh, fs ck dot txt right so which command we have used cat suppose uh, i don't want to see the entire file i want to see the last 1 kb of the data in the file right what i want to do i want to display the last 1 kb how much uh, the number of lines uh, which occupied 1 kb in that file right i want to display so it's we have linux command tail is available right uh, now here hadoop fs iphone tail command which will display the last 1 kb of data in a file so now i want to see the file in fsck.txt so what is the last 1 kb data so then run this command hadoop space fsfn tail okay so this is in fsck.txt so this is the last line last 1 kb of data in a file fsck.txt okay it is a tail command right now uh, how to delete a file in sdfs right how to delete a file in linux we have the command rm okay so rm command is used to remove a, the, a file and to delete a directory we used to uh, we have the command rm r so suppose i want to delete a file 
you can see Hadoop space fs hyphen rm. I want to delete a file. Which file? Zero size file in a directory. Tahir, right? So then write Hadoop space fs hyphen rm. Then write the path user cloud era. So in this directory, I have a subdirectory with the name Tahir. In the Tahir directory, I have a file zero size. Okay. So now rm command is used to delete the file. Which file? Uh, zero size file. Press enter. Now the file is going to be deleted. Okay, so if you want to delete a directory, right? Suppose I'm going to create some directory, Hadoop space fs and mkdr, some trash demo is a directory name. Okay, I'm going to create some files. It's empty file in the directory, Hadoop space fs and touchjet is creates an empty file uh, the file name is zero size in a directory trash demo press enter right so we have created two files Okay, to list the files, we have to run the command Hadoop space fsfn ls. So trash demo. Right in this one, the file I want to create is zero size one. Now run the command Hadoop space fsfn ls. And that directory is trash demo. It will list the files in the directory trash demo. Okay, we have created only one file. So I'll create another file trash demo zero size two. Okay, so now we have the two files in the directory trash demo. Okay, now I want to delete the directory. So which directory I want to delete the trash demo. So what is the command to delete a file? We used Hadoop space fs hyphen rm to delete a file to delete a directory. The command is rmr. Okay, then just write Hadoop space fs hyphen rmr and give the name of the directory. So I want to delete the directory trash demo. Then press enter. Then this directory is going to be deleted. Okay, so now we have deleted the directory trash demo with the command Hadoop space fsfn rmr. Okay, right now suppose in uh, in the Windows, if you delete a file, it will be moved to recycle bin. Now, if you want to move the file completely, then we have to delete the file from the recycle bin. So if you have recycle bin is enabled, then the deleted files are moved to the recycle bin. Suppose if you disable the recycle bin, then if you delete a file, then the file is going to be deleted permanently. Correct. The same way in the Hadoop, whenever a user delete a file or a directory, the deleted files are moved to a directory with the name trash. Okay, it is a hidden directory in SDFS with the name trash. So all the deleted files are deleted files are moved to this trash directory. Okay, now see what I did. I run the command Hadoop space fs hyphen rm the directory name. Then the directory is moved to the trash directory. Now I want to delete the files from the trash. I want to delete the files from the trash. Then we use the command Hadoop space fs hyphen expunge. Right, which command it is Hadoop space fs hyphen expunge is a command which is used to delete the files from the trash. I'm going to the terminal. See, first I'm going to run Hadoop space fs hyphen expunge. So when you run this command, if any files are there in the trash, if any files are available in trash, they are going to be deleted. That means you are emptying the trash. Now, so to delete the directory, then run the command Hadoop space fs hyphen rmr trash demo. Press enter. 
okay uh, right it's saying that trash demo is Okay, just write uh, Hadoop space f 7 RMR, then testing. Now the deleted directory will be moved. Okay, so the command is to delete a directory, the command is RMR. Okay, I'll again I'll create a file here. So Hadoop space fs hyphen touch jet. I'm going to create an empty file. So I'm writing the command touch jet. Okay, so where I want to create, I want to create this file in the directory user. I'm going to write the complete path user cloud era. Then the directory name is testing. In the testing directory, I want to create a file with the name zero size. Okay, similarly, I'm going to create one more file with the name zero size one. Now you can see this with the command ls to list the files in the directory. Testing. So we'll have the two files. One is a zero size and other one is a zero size one. Now I want to delete the directory testing. So run the command Hadoop space fs hyphen rmr. Then write the command testing. Okay, press enter. Now it will delete the directory and the files in the directory. Okay, so deleted testing. The directory is deleted. So if you are trying to list the directory, it will show there is no directory with the name testing. Right, no such failure directory. Now, when you delete the directory, where this directory is going to uh, is moved? Now, this uh, directory are uh, the files in the directory are moved to the trash directory in SDFS. So, to delete the permanently from the SDFS or to delete the files from the trash, we have to run the command Hadoop space fs iPhon expunge. Okay, the command is Hadoop space FS hyphen expunge. Then press enter. Now it will delete the files from the trash directory. Okay, so the command is expunge Hadoop space FS hyphen expunge. Okay, so set rep command is uh, sets the replication level of a file and so iphone w indicates uh, the number of times you want to replicate and iphone r indicates uh, right it accepts for backward something it uses a recursive r indicates now how to use this command then run the command usage hadoop space fs fn usage right it will give you the syntax Okay, so the syntax is Hadoop space fs, then iPhone set ref, then you can write iPhone r, then you can write iPhone w, and the replication factor and the path of the file you have to write. Okay, so any command you want to know, just write uh, help. I want to know about to start. Okay, it's a prints the statistics about the file. So where a percentage B black uh, G is a group name is percentage G file name is a percentage N and the black size replication factor username and the date when when last modified.